All right, this is APTV. We're here live backstage at Aftershock in the Orange Lounge. NXT Women's Champion, Bailey, how are you? I'm good. I'm champion, so. The great champion. After, yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. It's, it's, it's going to be the case. It's nice, yeah. Now, we're, we're just talking off camera. You recently won this belt from, uh, from the boss, Sasha Banks, at uh, NXT TakeOver yep. uh, in Brooklyn. What was t Tell us a little bit about what it meant to you from your journey to win that belt. Um, it, it was just crazy. I couldn't have pictured it any to go any better. Like, I just had the perfect story, the perfect, like, I don't know. I wouldn't have wanted my career to go in any different way than it did. I just had to, like keep scratching and clawing and like work my way and I don't like to be given things like I love just working 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 to get to that point and to be on the biggest show that NXT's ever right. had against I in my opinion the best women's wrestler ever Sasha Banks is just she's just amazing and at her point in her career you know just getting to the main roster is such an important match for her too it was like I don't know it was just so special to be in front of 15,000 people or however many people right. were there in New York and I don't know I just I honestly still can't believe like this is my life right now and that that's mine I forgot it when I went to an autograph signing earlier because <laughs> I'm like oh yeah I'm the champion it's been like two months but I'm just it just still feels like a dream and when you go out like say you go to a club or you're out somewhere and someone like IDs you or stops you at the door do you just plunk that on the <laughs> desk and <laughs> all just the say, time or if you know I go to a <coughs> restaurant and they're like oh it's 35 minute wait I just I'm like you what sure? I heard now? it's about a. <laughs> I heard it's an open table. <laughs> That's what I would use that belt for. Well, totally. It was you know, and as you imagine for wrestling fans, you know, many have said that it was the the match of the year, you know, and it was the mm. first time, uh, again, when you guys did your your second event that you know, you you have uh, women wrestlers headlining the event. So what is yeah. that kind of like to kind of be that trailblazer in that world? It's r it's really crazy because obviously you have all these dreams when when you're kids and Sasha and I grew up the same, like having the same dream since we were ten years old, and. Uh, even getting to the WWE, I, was, I always wanted it, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, it's so far out of touch, like, I'm so out of reach, like, you never really think you're gonna get there, and like, same with this, like, I always told myself I would make WWE history, but I actually did, like, nothing, nobody could ever take that away from nope. me now, like, 15 years from now, Sasha and I are gonna be a part of history, people are gonna look back and see it, we'll always have our spot in history, the game -changing no matter moment. what, and it's, uh, it's just amazing to, I didn't didn't change who I was like I was I tried to be like Lita where she was just like so different and just herself and she was so successful and like that was as a kid that was why I loved her so much right. because she was just just herself and that's kind of what I've been trying to do and my love for wrestling I just love wrestling so much and to be able to have this mean something and everybody care about it is still it's overwhelming but it's a oh, great feeling so you guys at NXT are here <laughs> today and you're also a couple weeks ago louder than life at these rock festivals yeah. and doing a wrestling thing at the rock rock festivals what has that experience been like and uh for you guys kind of playing for rock fans and vice versa you guys being fans of the bands it's so fun i used to go to warp tour all the time and like all these music festivals and shows and all that stuff so being able to like combine wrestling with it i really thought um when we were in louisville i thought it was just going to be a bunch of like of the bands like rock fans and right. you know not really wrestling fans or nxc fans but nxc fans came from all over just to get get there and like we have people here from washington and seattle like arizona right just because this is the closest that we've been in a while so our fans are so loyal to us and it's been amazing and then we'd had people like people from other bands come and watch the shows and like, interested in us and it's just uh i hope we do more of these next year they're so much fun oh, we hope so too well yeah. obviously you know you, you you laid out a perfect segue for me uh you know the past couple weeks we've had kind of a little bit of a feud uh with Corey taylor from slipknot and uh, Corey oh. graves that uh, unfortunately started our award show and we had them all together and yes. escalated uh to the point of physicality yesterday yes. tell us a little bit about seeing someone from the rock world come in and, uh, and get physical there at that, NXT. <laughs> that was crazy so I I had to watch like the replay because I had turned my back for a second sure. obviously and that's when it happened and it was so cool it's like man he must be uh, just that I'm even like I'm, I'm a part of this show and <laughs> Slipknot is like a part of our show right. it's just so so crazy we're doing everything we're doing is something new like 
that people have never seen before. Right. Like NXT is just doing new things all the time, and just to have somebody Slipknot part of our show and just That's I don't crazy. know, yeah, it was great. Well, you mentioned you you grew up going to Warp Tour and stuff, and earlier that you're a reader of AP. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your favorite bands you got to see in Warp as a kid growing up, and some of those oh. your favorite memories. Favorite band, so Pierce the Veil. I love Pierce the Veil so much. Heard of them? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I heard Dance Gavin Dance earlier, yep, they're great. and I was like flipping out because I I haven't heard like I used to listen to them in high school. Um, Taking Back Sunday, Paramore when they first started, they were like in the small. She, she's right behind you. I, oh my gosh! If she, if you guys know her, Haley Williams, dude, be my best friend. She's my favorite ever. Uh, I just love. We'll put in a good word. Yeah, she's my favorite. Um, yeah, man, I could, uh, it's just been so long since I've listened to <laughs> music. Wrestling's my life right now. Um, those are the top ones. Paramore's just always been number one.